Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Today's lesson is about solving systems of equations, and we're towards the end of this video series. Um, I've already talked about the graphing method, the substitution method, and the elimination method. Now, systems of equations, when you have more than one, and you're trying to find a solution for both equations at the same time. We're going to focus on applications, which are word problems. And you'll see a lot of these on standardized tests. And the idea is that most of the time, the smartest way to solve these problems is to write equations from the situation. And there'll be two equations, and then you solve. As we read these word problems, we're going to decide whether the substitution method or the elimination method is the best one to use. Simile and Jose are selling flower bulbs for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy packages of tulip bulbs and bags of daffodil bulbs. Simile sold eight packages of tulip bulbs and six bags of daffodil bulbs for her total of $218. But Jose sold three packages of tulip bulbs and 12 of the daffodil bulbs for the total of $267. Now based on that information, let's find the cost of each one package of tulip bulbs, one bag of daffodil bulbs. What we've got to do is determine our two variables. Now it looks like the two things that we're looking for are tulip bulbs and daffodil bulbs. So tulip bulbs we're going to just use a nice common sense letter, capital T. And daffodil bulbs are going to be D. So we're going to have T's and D's. Now we could easily use X's and Y's, but let's keep it kind of in context here. All right, now we got two situations. One person had a certain amount of sales, and the other person had another certain amount of sales. So let's write that in terms of an equation. Similarly sold eight bags of tulip bulbs and six bags of daffodil bulbs. So T is going to represent the cost of one package of tulips and D is going to represent the cost of one package of daffodils. So eight of those is 8T, six of those is 6D, and the total amount of money from both parts equals $218. So Jose's situation is this, 3T plus 12D equals $267. So now we have a system of equations and let's look at the variables. We have 8t, 3t, and we have 6d and 12d. Now the easiest thing to do it looks like is to work with the d's. Now I notice that I can multiply this by 2 but let's multiply by a negative 2 that top equation and then we are going to have a new version of that equation. Here it is. So the first equation becomes this. The second equation is not going to be changed and we just copy it over. And notice now that we can eliminate the D variable right there. We get negative 13T equals negative 169 and we divide each side by the negative 13 and it should give us T equals 13. Now that's 13 bags of tulip bulbs, right? Okay, what's our next step? That's right, we are going to substitute that into either equation. Now the second equation here that we came up with looks like it has maybe some smaller numbers. We'll see. I'm just going to choose that one. And so here it is. Instead of 3t, it's going to be 3 times 13, right? Plus 12d equals 267. Let's solve it. We're going to have 12D equals 228 here towards the end. Divide each side by 12, and D would be 19. So, 13 bags of tulips and 19 bags of daffodils. All right, you read number 17 and give it a try. All right, after reading number 17, you notice these two equations that we could come up with. Now, I'm going to use G for 
grass, a cubic foot of, or sorry, a square foot of grass sod. And S is going to stand for a shrub. So grass sod and shrubs. 13G plus 3S equals 62. That's Sumali. And she spent that much money. And the uh, other person, Jimmy, spent 168 on 12 feet of grass sod and 12 shrubs. All right, so let's look at our equation and notice that the 3 and the 12 seem to be um, nice multiples there that we can work with. So here's my two equations. Notice how the S terms drop out. Those are eliminated because they're opposites. So here's our answer as we continue through. 40G equals 80, so G equals 2. $2 per square foot of grass sod. Okay, let's put the label on there, dollars. All right, substitute it in there, and let's choose the first equation. So instead of 13G, it's going to be 13 times 2, because we know G, that G equals $2, plus 3S equals 62. Let's go ahead and solve that. 26 plus 3S equals 62. Subtract 26 from each side, and we're going to have 3s equals 36, so s must be 12. All right, $12 for each shrub. So, 2 and 12. All right, thank you so much for going through this video with me. These are application or word problems. And there's going to be one more. I'm going to add two more story problems for you for, to work out. So look for that. Solving systems of equations, application word problems. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.